Hey guys, Pat Stitt here at I Am Grounds for Life. I'm over here at my brother Phil's house today and we got a few pieces of equipment pulled out and we're working on them, but we are starting the season off right this year with this brand new John Deere Z930 zero turn mower. Man, it's beautiful. That's the old mower sitting over there. That's the tractor and trailer over there. We are going to focus today on this brand new Z930 zero turn tractor. We're gonna go over the details of this mower, the engine, the transmission, features and specs. We'll talk about the John Deere dealer and service center network. And of course, we'll go over the price we paid. So let's get started. All right, guys, this is the John Deere Z930 M. It's got the twills on it, but we'll talk about that a little later. The Z930 lands right in the middle of the John Deere commercial lineup from the 915E to the 997 diesel. And that 99 diesel price is out at about $25,000. But we'll get into the price of this one a little later. This John Deere is made in the USA and man, it is loaded with all different kinds of features. So let's dive into it. All right, the first thing I want to show here is this Comfort Glide seat. It's got the weight adjustment on here. You can dial it in for your specific weight and it will hold your weight and bounce you up and down comfortably and glide you. The seat is adjustable, it slides up and down. It's got a, a lumbar support here on the back for your back and also the seat will recline by spinning this little handle right here and these armrests go up and down and Bill's going to hop on it right now to show us how this thing will bounce around. And there you go. It'll hold a big guy like Bill. These things are commercial grade mowers. They're made to cut all day every day and a part of that is going to be this comfort seat. I think it's well worth the upgrade and I'm honestly not too sure about the price on the upgrade but I'll put it in the description. And so we'll come over here to the control pad real quick and we can see where we got, where the key goes in. You've got your choke back there. Uh, it's our throttle. This is your uh, PTO button here. This is a quarter inch adjustable increments on this deck, which is good. It goes from one inch all the way up to five inch. That's, that's really good, really nice to have there. And of course you've got your hour meter and it also will show you codes i believe and warnings and 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 maintenance lights and stuff like that so as far as the deck this is a 54 inch severn iron pro deck it does not it is not the mulch on demand deck um honestly it has the available mulch on demand deck. I'm really not crazy about mulch on demand. I've had mowers with them before. Um, those, the, um, I prefer to run a high lift blade and you're not gonna be able to run a high lift blade. I don't believe you're able to run a high lift blade efficiently uh, running that deck with the uh, mulch on demand. Those chambers, they tend to leak sometimes from what I've seen when you're really trying to get like a ball field quality cut or something like that. And also it's a $700 upgrade. It's just not worth it to me. We don't have to leave clumps on fields with the experience, uh, you know that. So anyway, let's move on to the engine. Before we move on to the uh, engine real quick, I did wanna show how this works here. I know people have some questions about it. You got your foot lever there that attaches to your deck. You hold that up and uh, kind of take the weight off. And then there's a, that yellow knob on top is actually a locking uh, switch there. And you, you turn it, you set your height, you turn it to uh, raise it to lower it. And, and that's how that works. All right, as far as the engine, this does have the uh, Kawasaki carbureted engine. On these mowers right here, you have a choice between the Kohler EFI electronic fuel injection motor or the Kawasaki 
carbureted engine. This one, as I said, is a carb Kawasaki carbureted engine. You can't really see much of a difference between the two. Both run these Donaldson filters. They're very con common on high-end side-by-sides and high-end mowers. Uh, I'll tell you what I can show you. See this little thing right here? I've had so many people asking about that little thing. That's a dust port. That's made so if you get uh, stuff to build up in there like um, leaves and, and gunk and stuff, it'll just blow out of there. Once it clogs up, it'll start to just build up enough pressure and it'll blow it right out of there. That's what that's supposed to do. So, let's see. Let's look down here. We got, uh, I can see our oil cooler. I can see our dipstick here. I'm not going to go through pulling it all out and stuff. These things are air cooled. Air comes down from up high. It pulls down into the engine. That's why it's so important for to keep this area here. It's always going to be full of leaves and grass and stuff. That needs to stay always stay clean and clear so your engine can breathe. That is going to be key to maintaining its its long life. Now these things are easy to maintain. John Deere set these engines up to last a long time. We have one over here in the corner with over 2,000 hours on it. And when it comes to the debate, whether you go with the Kohler electronic fuel, in fuel injection or the Kawasaki carbureted engine, hands down, it goes to Kawasaki. Um, there's just no comparison. It is hands down the winner. The electronic fuel injection Kohler motor tends to blow a lot of smoke. I've had them before. When they start up, they will blow all kinds of smoke. Now, that's just my opinion, but I believe that the John Deere Tex would surely go with the Kawasaki. Maintained properly, this thing, it's bulletproof. These are Michelin Twheels. I wanted to talk about these. These are really cool. If you can see... You can see right through the tire there uh, onto the John Deere green, onto the, the mower frame there. That's because these things, they don't have air in them. You can see right through the light there. They don't have air in them at all. They're made by Michelin. They're originally made for John Deere. These things are pretty expensive, but to me, they're worth every penny. If you're running these things all day, every day, you're hitting nails, you're having to repair flats and put air in your tires and stuff. And these right here, you just can't beat. Now they're gonna cost you. You're looking at, well, we'll just say over a thousand bucks for a pair of them. But with this brand new mower from John Deere, it's an $800 upgrade. Wanna walk over here and raise up the seat. You can see by this handle right here. Yeah, well, that's heavy. That's a heavy duty seat right there. We can look underneath the seat. We can see there the battery John Deere battery we can see the hydraulic reservoir boy these things are built so heavy duty <clears throat> all 900 series are built with the tough torque heavy duty transmission from John Deere these transmissions are really a big deal that tough torque transmission they're awesome they really allow for a slow creep on these wheels and if you've been running these John Deere's or any zero turn you know what I'm talking about a slow creep if you're wondering why you can't get a clean turn on your zero turn if you're wondering why you're leaving marks every time you turn your mower may not be able to do that really 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 slow creep that is key to that. A lot to explain here, guys. I'm really not gonna, I'm only gonna get into so much. I think this thing holds 12 gallons of gasoline, six gallons on each side. Um, I really suggest that if you're considering buying one of these, to look up the owner's manual and look at the specs in the owner, owner's manual between the different models and the different series because that will really tell you, that really answers my questions. When I went to look at the differences between these, these mowers, just by looking at the owner, owner's manual was the way to go because that one owner's manual will show you every series of the John Deere's in that Z series and show you all the comparisons and all the specs and all that stuff. So let's keep on moving. All right, guys, this John Deere Z930 is a great commercial mower. It should bring years and years and years and years of all day, everyday use. And if you're a residential person, if, you, if you're a, you have a residence and you're thinking about getting one of these just to use on your property, man, you're really not going to lose with something like this. Most commercial guys that are running John Deere's, 
they're loyal to the brand. They know their models. So I'm mostly speaking to residential uh, home use guys. If you're looking at a John Deere mower at say Home Depot maybe, I would suggest looking at models at a John Deere dealer. Look at maybe the 700 series that offers a four year warranty. Good news is that if you do buy a John Deere from Home Depot, you can still have it serviced at your local John Deere dealer. John Deere has a huge extensive network of dealers, service and parts centers worldwide. Look, I'm not paid, sponsored in any way whatsoever by John Deere. I just believe in their product and I like the fact that they're made in the USA. So I told you that I would let you know the price of what we paid for this John Deere Z930 right here in our local area, which would be Eastern North Carolina. We paid $11,000 no deal really whatsoever this is a 2021 it's still pretty early in the year so there's not much of a deal to be made on that but anyway guys i just really wanted to show you this cool new mower i'm not the best at doing these reviews and stuff like that but i figured i'd give it my best shot thanks so much to build a bushmaster for being our model today thanks to uh phil of onslow lawn care this is all phil stuff here this is onslow lawn care stuff if you need something done if you need some work done on your property get in touch with onzo lawn care they'll be sure to take care of you guys we'll keep you posted on this mower and its progress throughout the season as we go thanks for watching guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time i'm pat stitt and i'm grounds for life